Now, a really interesting technique that saves a lot of time is to work on half of the body, laying out the UVs for the half, and then duplicating the body, combining the two pieces and merging them in the middle by walling the UVs, and then flipping the UVs of one half, the ones that will be flipped once we translate our body to the opposite side, and then moving and sewing the shells from the opposite sides together for the head and the torso. So we're going to try this technique. I'm going to go to my front view. I'm going to select faces and I'm going to delete half of my faces. And I'm going to zoom in really close to make sure that I have not missed anything. I can turn off my display texture border edges. And as you can see, we have a half a body. So now we can save double the time by just working on this side. And again, if I select my mesh right here, toggle the visibility of my UVs blue, meaning that I got a good projection. And if I duplicate this mesh right here by going to edit duplicate, and I scale this mesh, and I'm gonna give you a preview of what that looks like. So if I scale it on the negative X, negative one, so I can get a mirror translation of the duplicate side. Notice that both of the face projections look good. As soon as I combine these two guys, by going to this icon right here, combine, or going to mesh, combine, Notice that since I've combined the two meshes, the UVs are purple because one projection is good, the one coming from the positive X, and the one from the duplicate mesh has been flipped. So what we need to do is we need to select, let me undo this, we need to select the UVs from this side. So I'm going to select this mesh right here. Make sure you hold the letter Q. And I'm going to move them to one side. And I'm going to flip them in the U direction. As soon as I do that, notice that they turn red. So once I combine these two meshes right here, select both of the meshes and go to combine. Now both sides are blue. Let me undo this. And again, I'm going to select this shell right here. I'm going to move it to one side. Select both meshes, combine. And what I will do after I merge all the vertices from the middle is that I will take my edges, these edges right here. And it doesn't matter if I select the inside edges because those are already sewn together. I have to make sure that I select this edge right here. What I would do is I would perform a move and sew so that both of the sides get sewn together. But again, you have to merge the vertices in the middle because right now, even though the two meshes are combined, they're not welded together. But I will cover that in the last video of this series.